Today I will show you how to change capacitors without removing the main board which is a lot easier and simpler. Today I, will, I am also using a Bell 9241 receiver to show you how to do this because this one has a few that are blown. What happens with capacitors that are blown is like for example this receiver the image will stop playing but the sound will continue. So those are kinds of signs that something's wrong and it's probably a capacitor problem especially on these receivers. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to remove these four screws in the back to remove the back cover. Once these screws have been removed, you just apply pressure on the top cover and just pull it back and then lift it up from the front. And it's removed. I'll put it here for now. Now, next thing we need to do is to remove the hard drive and the fan and this assembly. To remove this assembly, we'll need to remove the front plate. To remove the front plate, we need the, you have four plastic pins here that you just move upwards. You can move two at a time. Okay, then it pops up, and then you just slide it off. Once that's off, you have one, two. three, four, five screws to remove and you have three wires to remove off the board. So we'll start off by removing the wires. This is the one for the fan, this one is for the hard drive, and this is the one to power the hard drive. Now that all the wires have been removed, all we need to do is unscrew these five screws. You have two in the front. You have one on the side near the fan. And you have two in the back. Once all these screws are off, what we need to do is remove the assembly. Just lift it up from the back. It's very easy to remove. It's been removed. Okay, then we need to check for the, the, the capacitors that are blown. These will be rounded on the top or bulging. So I have one, two, three. I've already changed this one in the past, so I'll need to change these three because they're causing problems. All the other ones seem good. So the next thing I need to do is to look at the capacitor rating. It's, this is an 820 and it's 6.3 volts. So basically you need to change it with the same type of capacitor. You absolutely need to change it with the same type of capacitor and you need to put the positive and the negative where they were before. So we'll start off with this one. I'll just do this one. What you need to do is you need to have cutters like this, the big one, like big ones, and you need to cut not on the side, on the opposite side of the pins. So the two pins are in the front here and the back there. So we need to cut in the middle. Apply pressure. There. Now it's cut in half, but it's 
quite long, so we'll need to cut cut a big chunk of it off. Okay, now we're left with just two little pieces. So we take smaller cutters. It's like rubber or plastic. You just cut through it. Remove it with your fingers. There. Usually I'll leave the uh, the existing pins at about a quarter of an inch or half a centimeter long so they're still a little long okay now that these have been removed straighten them out a bit slowly with your fingers okay now I'll take the replacement capacitor I'll cut it a bit because it's kind of long for nothing. Okay, now that I've cut it, I'll take these slim long pliers and bend and bend these like this. Okay, now that it's all ready to go, I'm going to plug in my solder iron, wait for it to get warm. So here are the two pins, if you can see them. This is after cutting the old capacitor, that's what you should see, just those two pins. You got one on the white side and the other one on the green side. You got the positive and the negative. So it's very important to put your capacitor on the same side. So you have like the white side will go on the white side and the other one will go on the green side. So basically it's the positive with the positive and the negative with the negative. So once you've got that done, just hook them up to the existing pins with the pliers just apply a little pressure okay so I'll just wait for it if you can see well they're kind of placed but they're not soldered yet so once the solder iron gets warmer we'll be able to solder the, this new capacitor onto the ex old existing pins that were there. So that way it's a lot easier than removing the whole main board and all the, the, the stuff that it, all the screws are connected to there and all that stuff. This is the much easier way to do it. So let's see if the solder iron is warm enough. Start off by soldering just one, one leg to it. Wait a bit. And after that, just do the other one. There. Once that's done, just wait till it, for it to dry a bit. And then, you just test it out. See, nice and sturdy. And that's it. That's how it's done, changing capacitor without removing the main board.